Hey everybody, it's Rania Niftos with Billboard News, and we are here at the 2023 Women in Music. And tonight is very exciting because we have some of Billboard's best <laughs> and brightest here. We have Nina Rohani, R&B hip hop reporter. We have Griselda Flores, who is the senior writer of Loudon. And then we have Lindsay Havens, our senior editor, and Kristen Robinson, our music <laughs> publishing reporter. Hi, guys. Hi. Hello. Hey, this Rania. is so exciting that we're here tonight. And I think all of us can agree one of the most special things about women in music is seeing how much it's grown. Fans can come now, which yes. was not the thing a couple <laughs> years ago. Right. Before it was more like intimate, like mm -hmm. an intimate setting, but just last year was we opened it to, to fans. Yeah, I remember when it was at the Palladium, which was a much smaller venue in Hollywood, and it was invite only, and it's just fun that you can see the fans now take part. Absolutely. Yeah, I think what's really fun about having the fans here is when you see them get so excited for the different performances. Like clearly certain fandoms will come. I know that we saw that last year, and. It's just really fun to get their energy in the room too, along with all of the people that are being honored. So yes. it's yeah. great. I mean, I want to talk memories from Women in Music because we've all been here for a few years. One of my favorite memories was seeing Taylor Swift accept the Woman of oh, the yeah. Decade Award the same year that Billie Eilish won yes. Woman of the Year. And so yes. it was just unbelievable seeing those two powerhouses come together and be honored. And Taylor made this incredible speech about taking back her music after the whole Scooter Braun drama, and it's just really cool to see her be empowered and take back her music. And it really kind of jump-started the re-recording process, which yeah, I right. loved that we got to give her a platform <laughs> to speak out about it. Yeah. What about you guys? That was a favorite of mine for sure. And I loved how at the end of that speech, she also said, you know, part of why she does this is for the young girls in their bedroom playing guitar. And then she goes, and here's one of them right now, and brings up Billy. And like, it was no, those moments that. where we always talk about how full circle these events are and how women always want to pay it back and, you know, recycle the respect and love that they have. Yeah. But to really see it from two of our biggest superstars in the same night was pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and I think speaking of fandoms, as we were doing earlier, I think one of the biggest moments for me that I thought was so cool was last year when Karol G performed yes. and accepted her award, and she was, like, trying to talk, and, like, <laughs> no one could hear her because people were screaming so loud, and, like, you could yeah. just tell that she was, like, overwhelmed with the yeah. amount of love that she was receiving, and I think for the fans that was special because a lot of times these artists are people who perform in stadiums, right? So to be able right. to see them in like such an intimate setting and like share in that moment and watch your this person that you admire so much being honored and be able to share in that with them is really beautiful. So special. Yeah. Yeah. That was beautiful to see. One of my favorite memories is from 2019, Rosalia received the Rising Star Award. And this year she's receiving Producer of the Year, but that year she performed a cappella, and I think people thought that it was just like this, it was a beautiful performance and they thought it was planned, but actually her musician, her guitarist, never made it. Oh, uh, I don't think wow. I even knew that. I didn't know that <laughs> oh made their God. life. So she, instead of like pulling out and just not performing, she very much delivered a memorable performance. Wow. Um, just showcasing like her vocals are so, that are so powerful. And she's uh, the one who can do that. I mean, yes. It's her, very uh -huh. the mummy of yeah. her. Uh -huh. <laughs> and that voice, that classically trained oh voice. Oh my wow. God, yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. That, that was yeah. one of my favorite memories. Yeah, I think that for me, the performances really are the best part. And I'm so excited to see who's going to be performing tonight. But I think my favorite memory was last year. Olivia Rodrigo is really one of her first performances ever. Like, she just had such a, like, giant catapult into stardom um, that year. And just getting here, getting to hear her talk about her new album, Sour, which had just recently come out. And you know, get to hear some of her new music was so exciting, so, yeah. yeah. And then from past to present, we have incredible honorees tonight. We have SZA, our Woman of yes. the Year, which is even crazier because in 2018, she was honored as Rule Breaker, and now she's graduated yeah. to That's Woman how you become of the Woman of the Year. year. You break a lot of rules. <laughs> so true. So so never true. allow anyone to tame you, yes. basically. And she did just that, and I feel like she releases music on her own terms. Mm -hmm. She leads her career on her own terms, and clearly mm -hmm. it works out for her. What SOS is 10 weeks atop the Billboard mm -hmm. 200? Yes, it's phenomenal. incredible. Yeah. Who are some of the other honorees that you guys are most excited to see tonight? 
Well, I'll say that I'm excited to see, we have a big Latin representation or Spanish yes. language uh, music here with Rosalia, who's producer of the year. And just so everyone knows, this is the first time we give an honoree a producer of the year award. So she is the first one to receive it. So I'm ha excited to see that, to see her speech, to hear her speech. We have uh, Becky G who's receiving our impact award in her hometown, Inglewood, so which is special. very exciting. And Evie Queen, I mean, she's a reggaeton icon, a legend. So I'm excited to see her get her flowers finally. Yeah. Yes, Speaking of people who have gotten awards from us a couple different times throughout their career, Lana Del Rey was honored quite a while back. This is still when it was like, you know, at the Palladium, very early stages of women in music. And she's coming back this year. She's our visionary honoree this year. And I really, think that that is such an apt title for her. Yeah. I think she really has shown throughout you know, the last decade of her career that she truly is a visionary, whether it's visuals or her songwriting, which has inspired kind of the next generation of yeah. women that are singer-songwriters in this industry. So I'm psyched to see her tonight. She's so modest with her... So modest. Yeah, with yeah. The, the influence that she's yeah. had on everybody. I feel like all of us standing <laughs> here in one way or another were obsessed with the Lana Del Rey video. And I love a, that it's probably all from a different era. Too. Yes. You know, it's yes. not like we all can pinpoint the same yes. thing. Yeah. She's been a visionary for a long time. Forever, yeah. since she got on the scene. And a lot of the artists, the Billies, Charlie yeah. XCS, yeah. all these artists look to Lana yes. mm -hmm. when they were growing up. I, I agree mean, with the you, Tumblr Kristen. era, like, yes. I feel like everybody's <laughs> I know, right? Tumblr feed was like 70% yeah, Lana. Percent Lana. <laughs> yeah. yeah, her sitting on that, was it on video games where she sits on that throne with like the big flower? Yeah. Oh, it was born to die. Yeah. yeah, oh, it's born to die. Checking you on the music videos. I got, I got my knowledge. <laughs> she knows her music video. Yeah. No, I think what's so great about her is like, although we can point to all these different eras, like she's still at the top of her game. Yes. She has a new album right. coming out next month. And so it, this is just a really cool time to kind of check in. It's been about a decade of releasing music for her. Yeah. Um, and right. to get to honor her and see her tonight is gonna be really awesome. Yes. And you got to check in with her at Hollywood Forever, which is, I, I just, I can't stop talking the about that. The coolest interview. <laughs> the coolest yes. interview in the coolest setting. Yeah, I mean, she yeah. truly um, was a joy to talk to. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we get to see her tonight on the red carpet as well. Yes. Yes. Um, but, you know, she shouted out um, a lot of women during our interview that really inspired her. Kat Power, Joan Baez, even Billie Eilish. It's cool to see that she, she is also so inspired by the people around her as well. Yeah. Again, she's the best. She's so modest. Yeah. And you spoke with Dochi for the magazine as well. Yes, and I, I really loved that interview. We are honoring her as a rising star. And I always ask people, like, do you feel like this title sums up where you're at right now? Dochi is so on top of her career. She has a five-year plan, and she's in year three right now. Wow. So we're sort of catching her right on the cusp of stardom. I feel like she's already such a force. But to know that she has two years left in her mind before she gets to where she wants to be. <laughs> she's not even done. She's not even done. Yeah, and she's got to like, check in in, like, two years. I know. See where she's at. That's what I said. I was like, so, okay, you're rising for the next two years, and then boom. Like, the woman of the year. You'll be here. <laughs> yeah. So that was pretty cool to just see her be like, yeah, this is actually the perfect title to sum up me right now. Yeah. And I love the diversity that we have because, you know, we're talking about the Latin representation. We have R&B. We have pop. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important for us, even as women in music ourselves, to talk about why these events matter because I think sometimes there could be this misrepresentation of why do we even need these events women feel empowered women get all the opportunities they want but it is so not true and we all jaws dropped when we saw these statistics that came from USC Annenberg that they said that 14 percent of songwriters in 2022 were women and then three percent of producers were women in 2022. So, I mean, it's pretty clear that these events are still needed. Needed. Because yeah. we need to see more representation in Latin specifically as well. Like, even those numbers are lower in Latin music for women. No woman has ever been on our Latin producers chart. So, I think this is why we still need events like these. I remember seeing this video that kind of was talking about how Brandy 
realized that she like wanted to be a singer when she saw Whitney Houston on TV. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, if we didn't have Whitney Houston on TV, we wouldn't have had Brandy. So I think events like this matter in that sense because it's like young women who are watching this or who see an article about this or a tweet or a TikTok about this, like it's going to strike something in their brain. It's going to plant a seed. And that's what leads to us having the Taylor Swift's and the Billie Eilish's and the Dochies and the SZA's. Like it, it comes from that. I hope that, you know, we reach, and I think we will, reach a day where events like this won't yep. be necessary anymore. But until like then, the like, yeah, we, we just keep, we keep supporting and we keep pushing. That's what Rosalia also told me. She cried when she heard that we were giving her the Producer of the Year Award Aww. because she says she wants to see more of that. She said, how can you think you're like think that you can do something if you're not seeing it? Wow. Exactly. So true. Right. And that's why I love that for as many years as this event has gone on, we're still innovating within it too. To have Producer of the Year for the first time, we had a producer's dinner last night of all women producers. They were taking selfies. I was seeing it all over social media because <laughs> It can be really isolating. You go into a studio and you work alone. Yeah, so yeah. to then walk into a room and see like, hey, damn, there are a lot of other people doing exactly what I'm doing and we've just never met or we've never connected. So I do feel like most people walk away from this being like, the people that I met or that I actually got to see in person was the biggest takeaway. I feel inspired yeah. to keep going in yeah. that way too, that it's like, it's possible, look at us, we're doing sure. this. Right. And that's what's sure. special. Yeah. yeah, I feel Women in Music not only honors talent, but we also honor a lot of women behind the scenes yes. in the music business. That's the thing that I report on all the time. and. It's really great that this event also, what you won't see on the live stream is that there are just hundreds of women from all walks of life in the music business, all different angles, all kicking ass that are all going to be here tonight, you know, seeing each other maybe for the first time in a while. I think this is a great opportunity for all of us to kind of come into the room and not only honor the talent on stage, but also to honor the women that kind of powered those talents to get onto the stage in the first place. Exactly. So it's it's a great event and really I'm excited to see everyone who shows up tonight. I am too and it's cool to see the future of women in music too. I mean yes. we are ex expanding into Latin women in music. Yes so we just announced that we have our first ever Latin women in music that's taking place in May. Mm -hmm. So I am very excited for, for that and again just to because we do need the representation in Latin yes. music. Lindsay, so what is exciting now moving forward in 2023 in terms of the music industry, the state of women in the music industry? What have you seen? I am just so excited that we've started this year with women completely dominating both of our singles and albums charts. Wow. Obviously, Mariah always comes in at December. She <laughs> runs that season. But then to start January with Miley Cyrus, Taylor Swift having number one songs, SZA with SOS ruling the top of the Billboard 200 for 10 weeks. It's just really amazing to see that, yes, we could all be at this event talking about women in music and representation, but at least in this moment, it really is reflected on our charts, which I think is phenomenal. Yeah, and the thing about those women in, in particular, Taylor, Miley, SZA, they're, the, they're such real, raw, honest artists, and so it really mm -hmm. proves the power of women just by being yourself how much people connect to that type of energy and that yeah. type of music. I mean, yeah. it's all very personal work, I think, which is cool. And, like, obviously we see work that's more fun and lighthearted, yeah. but to see, like, SZA bearing her entire spirit <laughs> on this album and Miley talking about, like, a really deep heartbreak and how she just recovered like from yourself. it. And loving yeah. it, exactly. Like, it's just, it's just it's women inspiring. being... And Taylor, of course, you know, yeah. Yeah. knowing that she's the problem, and yeah. sometimes we all are. It's yeah, okay. Yeah. It's self-aware. Yeah. It's self-aware, yeah. and it's self-reflective. Um, and I yeah. think that that's something that we all go through. So right. And right. It's, it's special to see that being represented, those feelings being represented in music as well. Totally. But we are here tonight, and I'm so excited for all the people that are being honored. Who are you most excited for the actual show to see? I'm excited to see Lotto perform. Yes. I love a Lotto performance. A big, big energy big performance. Big. Yes. <laughs> Literally. But no, I, I want her to do It's Giving, and I told her that, mm. so I'm like, maybe she'll do it. Ooh. But maybe I she'll shout you out. Yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah. you know, I keep talking about this, but I keep forgetting to mention it when it really counts. You two cried together. We did. And I feel like people need to know that. Wow. <laughs> no, they do. It's plastered all over the internet. You really bonded, <laughs> so go watch if you have it, because I love that moment. Or don't. No. <laughs> no, it was an amazing interview beyond the crying. Yeah. Incredible interview. Like, you know, I think 
<laughs> one of the beautiful things about these is we actually do go really deep in these interviews yeah. and they, yeah. they can get emotional, you know? Yeah. We're not talking about surface level stuff here. Yeah. So I just think that that shows your skills as an interviewer Thank as well. You know, she's really, really great. Like, she's such a gracious, kind person. Every time I've encountered her, every time I've talked to her, she's yeah. just been really wonderful. And I just think that, like, one thing about her that is really cool to me is that she told me that she can't dance, mm. but... What I've seen of her, yeah, is like, like, <laughs> she pretty performed good at me. the BBMAs last year. Like her performance was it's incredible. Like, yeah. It's stuck in my head. Like I remember that performance all the time. So I'm just so excited to see what she pulls out of the bag tonight. I mean, I'm personally excited for Kim Petras. This is the oh, first time yes. we're honoring a trans woman mm -hmm. at Women in Music, which is the next step in representation mm -hmm. and normalization of women and that all types of women every uh, whatever a woman looks like feels like women should all be represented and that's what I love about Kim Petras and she has such a great energy and a great message for everybody and I've always loved her and I'm so happy that she's getting the recognition that yeah. she so deserves I've been a fan of hers forever yeah so have I you love guys her. have you guys seen those photos online that we did with her for this issue oh, they're beautiful they're so, yeah. pieces so of highly recommend <laughs> if anyone hasn't seen it please go check them out because yes. they're incredible she beautiful. looks yes. so yeah. cool she looks so good she's been grinding for years I like I feel like I've been following her for so long yeah. and it's great to finally see her hit that peak that personal milestone we're coming just off of the Grammys, yes. where she already made history there. Now she's making history here, so I'm, re I'm really psyched for her. I'm excited for the performances, obviously, but I do love the speeches. I, do I always get yes. emotional, oh, yes. so I'm looking forward to seeing or hearing the speeches tonight. There's always someone's mom there I, giving I those awards. I was going to say, last year we had a lot last of moms year handing moms, out yes. awards. Sweetie's mom, like... Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Yeah. And she like yeah. gave the sweetest speech about Sweetie and gave her her award. Was it also who was the other one? Phoebe Bridgers. 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 Yes. Yes. Died while yes. giving her yes. the speech and it was so yeah. touching. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I loved that it. was a really special one that. for sure. What about you, Lindsay? I have to go with the speeches as well. Mm -hmm. I feel like so often at award shows, people are gracious for a song, an album, yes. something really specific tied to a project. And with women in music. It's literally being grateful for just being an amazing woman yeah. and being a person who's made it in this business. So I feel like those speeches hit a little harder than other award shows. Catching SZA in the middle of one of her yes. biggest success runs yet, you know, she's on an arena tour right now. So I'm kind of curious to see what she has to say amidst all of that. I'm so excited, you guys. I mean, this is so special, and I'm so thankful to be here with all of you because you guys are women that I look up to at work every day. So this Likewise. is so special. Yeah. And, well, yeah, so thank you, everybody. And if you want more women in music coverage, be sure to head over to Billboard.com, Billboard Socials, and anywhere, really, where you can find <laughs> Billboard. So have a good night.